What's going on everybody? In this video, I wanna do a custom build of a software solution that can be delivered to an individual client. So instead of thinking in terms of building a SaaS or a software where it's publicly available and anyone can sign up, make an account and use the SaaS, what we're gonna do is make a, basically a SaaS offering, but just for a specific client. So you can, honestly do this with two tools to get up a POC running very quickly. And the best tools in my opinion are either ChatGPT or Claude. I'm gonna use Claude for this video because I don't use Claude as much as ChatGPT and I've been wanting to experiment with it a bit more. And then for actually running the application, we're gonna use Replit, which is a very cool environment where you can paste in the code that ChatGPT or Claude gives you and you can get a working version live up and running hosted on Replit. So it's just a really quick way of getting a POC up. Now, obviously, if you want to do like a production level deployment, um, there are actually some options, I think, here in Replit here, or you can use any other platform, AWS, whatever. But just for the purpose of a video and for your development, you should just, you know, just test it out with a basic uh, Replit deployment. So if you're completely stuck and you don't even know like what industry or niche to think about. Just to give you some ideas, you can literally ask Claude or ChatGBT, give me, let's say, five industries that could benefit from a single feature SaaS to save the business hours every week. And let's see what it says. So restaurants, real estate, healthcare, construction, legal services. So, and then you can see, for each industry, it even gives you um, examples of what you could build. So let's pick one of these right now. You know, so we've done a bunch of legal services. Let's actually use something like construction. So construction is actually a really cool example here. So in this example, it says a digital timesheet app that allows workers to clock in or out via mobile and automatically generates payroll reports. So I don't want it to be a mobile app or anything. So I'm just going to say, can you expand on construction and give me 10 more single feature SaaS ideas? Okay, here we go. So we have a bunch here. Um, okay, so GPS, oh, these are these are per industry. Okay, so this for various industry, I meant just for construction, but this is fine. Um, so GPS based clock in or out, that one's kind of cool. Um, project specific time tracking, kind of too general. Automatic calculation of regular and overtime hours, integration with popular payroll. Photo capture for job progress documentation. This is kind of cool. Um, I like this one. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay. Can you build me uh, using, okay, let's make this prompt a little better using only Python and Replit, can you build me this SaaS? And again, you can make these prompts better or worse. Honestly, you can just really play around with them. It doesn't matter too much. And you can see I, this is why I've actually liked Claude a bit more recently because it gives you the side-by-side -side code editor here. So it's giving you so I already created two files. So create a new replit, and it tells you exactly how to set it up. So let's follow what it tells me. So create a new replit project and choose Python as the language. So let's do that first. So create REPL, we're gonna use Python. We're gonna name it, um, what should we name this? Photo capture, there's a name of photo capture. Let's go with that. We're gonna make it public because you have to pay to make it private. Okay, so that's created. And you can see now once we're in here, how it looks. So you have your files on the left, um, your editor, and then on the right, you have the, um, how it looks when you deploy it. So let's go back here and see what it tells me to do. Um, okay, so in the main.py file, paste the content of the first artifact, the Flask application code. So that was this. So this is the Flask code. Um, so let's copy all this code here. And you know, you can take a look at this. Um, it, from what I say, it doesn't look too complex. But the nice thing is, obviously if you have some development experience, it's gonna be much nicer because you can actually understand what's happening. 
but you don't even technically need it. Um, then create a new file called templates slash index.html and paste the content of the second artifact. So let's do that next. So we're gonna go over back here and we're gonna create a folder because we need a templates folder. And then we need a file, I think it was index.html, correct? So we're gonna templates, we're gonna add a file index.html cool you can see it automatically recognizes it as, a, as an html file and open this code same thing we're going to copy this and then paste it in here cool okay so now we have those in the replit shell install install the required packages so we want to install flax flask so let's go ahead and do that so here is your replit shell right here so this is kind of like your environment for any variables or i mean libraries or dependencies you're going to have so let's install that you can see it's going ahead. All good. Cool. Now we want, so this is just explaining how it works. So this basic SAS app allows construction workers to upload photos of job progress, add descriptions to the photos, and then view a list of all uploaded progress entries. The application saves the images in the static uploads folder, stores the image information and descriptions in a SQL Lite database. To run the app, simply click the run button. The application will be provided accessible via the provided replit URL. So some improvements, user authentication, project-based organization, image compression, API for mobile apps, and advanced search and filtering. So we're not gonna be thinking about all of that right now because again, this is just for one client, it's a custom build, and again, it's just a POC. So this would be a nice use case for if a client wants to build something like this, but you know they just wanna see it like an MVP first, they don't wanna invest you know, tens of thousands of dollars if they don't even think they'll find it useful. You know, they just want to get like a tangible uh, perspective of it. So this is why you would use this. So from what I understand, all we have to do now is click run and things should be up and running. So you can see here on the bottom right, it's serving the flask app, so it's up and running. And I can make this, make this bigger. And you can see, you know, this looks kind of basic right now, but I'll show you in a little bit how we can make this much more pretty. Enter progress description. So let's say um, the foundation has just been completed. So, you know, that can be a description. You know, you can add a separate field here for dates even. I'm just gonna include a date here. Uh, dated, you know, like let's say January 1st, 1970. If you know, you know, okay, cool. So that would be the date. And again, you can make that in a custom field if you want. Now we have to get an image. So let's go find an image online of a foundation. So I'll be right back. All back, so I got the image here. I got a foundation for a house and we're just gonna drag it right into here. So you can see there, and then we're gonna submit that progress. And you can see here, there's a list here of what I just submitted. So the foundation has just been completed and we have the date that I enter there and then this is the picture. So you can see here on the bottom, the call that was made, it was a post, a post request and that's what stored it in the database, which you would find here if you actually look at the code. Um, gets the file name, SQLite, insert into description, new file name. And then, like it said, in the static folder, this is where the uploads are. So you see there we have the file. And then if we wanted to create another one, let's say uh, uh, first floor of the house is complete, January 7th. 1970 and I'll be right back. I'll find another picture of that and I'm back. Okay. We got a picture now of uh, a first floor somewhat being completed and we're going to submit that and you can see here that we also have this first floor of the house complete boom and you see we actually so I didn't even know it was doing this but it has the submission dates of when I submitted the update right so that's cool and we have that so what happens if I refresh here do we lose everything? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Nice, because we do have the database still there, progress.db. It's the database binary file. And then we also have all the pictures stored here. Now, obviously, if you want to make this production ready, you do a little bit more setup. But this is a really nice way, you know, if you want to show a client how their prototype would look or their final product, you would just use this. Um, now, so let's, let's do something even more fun. This is kind of ugly right now, right? Just to be honest, like it's not really too pretty. So why don't we ask Claude, First of all, we're gonna thank Claude. Always thank your AI partners. Thank you. Everything worked, but I want the site to look prettier. 
can you spruce up the HTML to make it modern and aesthetic? And look what it's doing, it's already applying those changes. Cool, and then we're gonna copy this content. It's gonna tell me what it did. You know, I'm just gonna trust its judgment that it's gonna be prettier. So we're gonna go back over here, index.html. Get rid of all of this and replace it with that. And we're gonna stop this because we have to update it. And then we're gonna run this again. And you can see this looks a little prettier. So, you know, personally, I don't think this is amazing, but it does look more modern. You see it has like the card set up right now. It's not just a basic HTML page. And I would say this actually looks pretty good. Now, one thing I didn't want to say is I think these pictures are too big, right? So let's let's go back and do that again. Great. But the pictures in the list are too large. Make them smaller. Now it's regenerating the whole HTML page again, which is fine. Okay, all done. We're going to copy this again. Go back over here. Delete that. Paste that in. Stop it. Rerun it. And boom. So this is bit. This is the pictures are now smaller. Um, we can fit more on one page at the same time, and it's just a little more readable. So this is just. I just wanted to show you guys because I, I'm a software engineer. I know how to code, and I understand code, and I un understand architecture to an extent. But if you didn't know any code or you know whether it's front-end development, back-end development, doesn't matter. If you had no experience in it, you noticed I did zero actual work in terms of coding or looking at the code to make sure everything was right. All I did was enter a few prompts and I actually didn't even create the idea myself. So remember I, I started with this initial prompt to ask it to give me industries. I then asked it to give me some SaaS ideas I did specify a single feature just to keep it you know, less complex, so it's easier for this demo especially. And it just did all the other work, right? So I didn't even have to think about the code in like any capacity. And it gave me an actual you know, usable app here. Now I'm sure there's probably a lot of these construction apps out there, but there might be some you know, construction agency, some contracting company where you know, maybe they don't wanna to pay too much for some external software or they need something more custom. Well, this would be a perfect example of you coming in and disrupting that you know, big software offering and offering a new custom solution that they can set up much easier and you would do that for them. So I re really recommend you guys try this out. It's, it, it's very fun too, you know, cause you can just take it in so many different avenues. You can customize this so much and it's nice because you can get rid of all of the pain and stress and frustration of having to code yourself, especially if you, if you have no experience. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more live builds just like this one, um, leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to build something specific. And also let me know if you've tried building something like this in the past. And I want to hear your ideas of what you've built too. So also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing more live build. I might even do a live stream in the future of something like this. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.